Back now on uh, Try Today. Always glad we can visit with this gentleman. He's been on the show many times before and does such good work for the community. I'm talking about, of course, Andy Ward. He's regional manager of Mission Advancement for Goodwill Industries in Northwest North Carolina. Good to see you again. Yeah, good to be back. You know, we're into the beginning of a new year, sort of. This is our first taping. We had a special program last week. So this is our first time to get together since the new year. And that leads me to this. A lot of people make New Year's resolutions. They say, I want to improve on this. I want to improve on that. Um, how can Goodwill help with people wanting to improve? Sure. Um, yeah, so at Goodwill, our, our mission's always been tied to the, the mindset of helping people to um, reach their full potential, to enhance their lives through the, the power of work. And so um, work is what our main focus on is on, and we, we achieve that mission through various different, you know, training opportunities, employment opportunities that help people to get maybe that new skill set, um, maybe it's to, to take a new training that's going to help launch them into a, a new career path, or maybe for folks who are already working, they're already you know in employment somewhere, training or maybe an upskill that, that you know lets them get into that you know that new role or that new position. And all ages of people too. All ages, yes, sir. You know, you've been on as I said several times before. You and I've talked uh, about these topics, but uh, one thing I want to uh, get you to do, if you would, give me a couple of specific examples of the kind of skills training that somebody might receive? I mean, give, give me an idea, because people say, hey, I hear about skills training. What does it really mean? Sure. So within our skills training, um, first and foremost, you know, across our territory, we're tied to the community college systems. So we work with 12 different community colleges across our territory here in Forsyth County. Of course, that's Forsyth Tech. Um, amazing partnership. Goes back 20 years. Um, phenomenal programs and staff over there. And so um, really good partnership. But the trainings that are in that tied to, um, you know, things within healthcare, things within um, trade skills within office technology, you know, um, you know, transportation, logistics, things of that nature. And even to the point of uh, if I'm an older guy and I want to switch careers or I've been laid off, maybe you can suggest how I can learn about the Internet and computers Absolutely. and all. So Absolutely. it goes down to the simple to the basic. Um, are your graduates uh, from your skills training courses, do they seem to be landing jobs quickly? I know we're in the, still in the throes of a pandemic, but in general. Yeah, so so even among all the doom and gloom when it comes to jobs, the job market is, um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of jobs out there. We're seeing that with the employers. Employers are wanting folks in. And there's a lot of opportunity for sure for the folks that want to work and the folks that are coming in getting the skills trade you know they're they're going out there and um you know they're landing jobs pretty quick a lot of our skills training classes have a stackable so it's you know you could come in and just take a welding class for instance but you might also come in do a mig welding followed up with tig followed up with industrial maybe attach an hvac or a facility maintenance you know class to that and that you know you walk out the door at that point with you know two or three certifications. I, I didn't and that's, realize that's a big that. I didn't deal, realize so. that. So then, if the job market is uh, a lot of openings in in uh, in the heating and air conditioning uh, field, then you can go that way. Even right. if you started out wanting to do something with welding, I think that's great. Now, uh, who is eligible for these programs? So basically, anyone in the community can come into Goodwill um, and get our services. Of course, our services are you know basically free and at no cost to to folks through through our stores. So when you donate to the store, eighty nine cents on every dollar goes back to fund these programs that we're talking about, and they're really open to anyone. Now, within that, um, you know, there are programs that are you know for specific populations. So. Um, you know, if, if you're a veteran looking for a veterans program, you know, you have to be a veteran to get in or a family right, member right. of that veteran. But this is more general for... Yeah, for, for general, um, there's going to be a program for sure within Goodwill that's going to fit the needs of anybody in the community. All right. Uh, one way to learn more, we can do two things here. One is, is of course, the basic website, goodwillnwnc.org. But also, you had emailed me, speaking of email, you can email virtualnav. I guess short for navigation, virtualnav at goodwillnwnc.org. So you can email or you can visit that website. But either way, Andy, thanks for all you do for everybody. Absolutely. Yeah, good to be all back. Right. We'll be right back.